Covering Colorado First in Aurora tonight, the fire department is adopting a new program to get the right resources to 911 callers and increase response times. The program called Right Response will dispatch medical calls according to specific incidents rather than a one size fits all approach. This comes after the implementation of a similar program, which your reporter Tori Mason told us about last year. The nurse navigation program routes non-emergency 911 calls to a Colorado State licensed nurse who can then refer the most appropriate medical care. Tonight, Tori is answering all of our questions about this new program. Aurora Fire Rescue responded to 57,000 calls last year alone. Now they're changing the way they dispatch emergency services to better utilize their resources. Are they completely alert? Okay. 25% of Aurora 911 calls don't need lights and sirens. Since nurse navigation began last year, hundreds of medical calls were resolved without an ambulance. And are you with the patient now? Aurora Fire Chief Alec Otten says it's time they change their one-size-fits-all approach. We've tried to be everything to everyone all the time and uh, we're just not able to, to sustain that. AFR's new right response model will help determine the appropriate resources for emergencies based on the severity of the call. What is the level of acuity? What is the risk that's associated with this call type? And then develop what we call a response recipe to send to it. Lately, AFR seen an uptick in calls that don't require a rig. And wasting resources, money, um, wear and tear on the machines. Tony Krenz is Aurora Fire's battalion chief. We're sending crews to these calls that are low acuity that we can send with just an ambulance, we're taking valuable time away from our crews that they could be training. New protocols range from referrals to nurse navigation, sending Falk basic life support units up to the current practice of a full-on response. Aside from wasting resources, Chief says too much response can sometimes do more harm than good. Any time that we put an 80,000 pound ladder truck with its lights on and its sirens blaring, integrating with the community in traffic, there is an element of risk. The new response system has only been in place for a day, but the chief tells me it's already impacted about 20% of their calls. Reporting in Aurora, I'm Tori Mason, covering Colorado First. CBS News Colorado is the only station with reporters dedicated to your community. Callie Worthman, Michael Abeta, Tori Mason are your reporters for Aurora. CBS News Colorado, of course, covering Colorado First on air, on our website, and on our streaming service. So if you have any story ideas, we sure hope you'll send them to us through our website, cbscolorado.com.